Hi, welcome to ChimpSync. In the next few minutes I will show you how to install it and set it up and then in the next video I will show you how to use it. So let's get started. We are on the App Exchange, so you can find us by looking for ChimpSync or uh, something like Salesforce and MailChimp if you don't remember the name. So uh, once you find us you can get get us and start your free trial uh, by installing the chimp sync so free trial is 14 days without credit card required and after 14 days uh, chimp sync is free for small small time companies that sync less than 2000 contacts and leads up to six times per month each month we will we will reset the counter and you can use it for free if you meet those criteria so otherwise uh, ChimpSync is only $49 per month for the organization so that's a good deal and you'll see what you get so mm, let's get started Mm, first we click get it now on the app exchange if you're not logged in you can log in and you will have to log in and choose where to install it so I'm installing actually updating in production so I'll just click install in production I will agree to the terms and conditions and click login so the package update is the same as the installation so first it will list you all the components just click continue if you're installing in professional edition as I am right now then you won't have to uh, set up uh, access permissions you, you just continue if you're installing for enterprise or developer or any other higher ranking uh, editions you can choose whether to install it just for admin uh, or certain groups of users or for everybody so I click the install and once you have ChimpSync installed you will find it on the upper right corner as a chimp sync application just like all these applications you will find chimp sync at the bottom chimp sync installs a couple of things uh, you will get chimp sync settings tab where you connect your mailchimp and salesforce to chimp sync you do that by entering your uh, by logging into your MailChimp and your Salesforce account. We don't store any login information. We connect on the API level uh, with security tokens provided by MailChimp and Salesforce. So once you connect it, it will look like this. I already set it up, so I'll just walk you through. It will be faster and easier for you to understand what happens. So, uh, ChimpSync uses uh, standard Salesforce campaigns. So, what we do, we add a couple of ChimpSync fields on the campaign layout and we also add campaign history and ChimpSync campaign member statistics related list so for those of you who don't know how to do this I will just show you so to add ChimpSync section and this list you click edit layout on upper right corner of the campaign it opens the layout editor where you can see the fields buttons related lists and that's it for the campaign what we will do, we will create a section 
you do this by drag and dropping the section, this yellow thingy somewhere where you want it you rename it and you choose what kind of the section this should be so one column two columns and what's the tab key orientation so we I chose top down I will press cancel because I already have it so then we just drag and drop and chimp sync fields how you know it's a chimp sync field first we go and drag and drop in MailChimp list and sync member activity so if you go over the field name you will see chimp sync name namespace in the name so this is how you will know it's a chimp sync file uh, field sorry so you just drag and drop it where you want want it I already have them here and I also added last chimp sync MailChimp campaign ID MailChimp campaign URL and segmentation so we have the section done press quick save just in case don't lose anything and we move to related lists so again you can drag and drop campaign history and chimpsing campaign member statistics in the space provided for related lists and you can edit the fields that will show up on the campaign layout so uh, by clicking the wrench icon maybe I was too fast so go to the wrench icon and I chose active sync member activity email sent click rate open rate unique clicks unique opens unsubscribes and create a date I sort by create date and I remove the new button from the related list since all since all records are created by the application again I do the same thing for Chimpsync campaign member statistics where I chose contact, lead, links click, times opened, unsubscribed and created date so I sort by created date again and remove the new button ok I'll press save which returns me back to campaign layout okay next we need to edit the leads and contacts layouts as well so I will do this from setup customize leads page layout I will do something similar as I did on the campaign so we create a new section by drag and dropping this onto the layout and then instead of adding fields we will add visual force pages so we have subscriber activity for Ch MailChimp hi subscriber history so what we do is we drag and drop this into this one column section that we created and we adjust it so it's its height is 300 or 200 whatever works for you and we show scroll bars okay same thing as on campaigns we need to add related lists so uh, on the leads and contacts we only have chimps and campaign member statistics related lists and again you can modify the fields that show on the layout and you can again sort it by create a date and remove the new button the same thing you do on the contact 
page layout which is found under setup Let's say setup customize contacts page layout and as you can see I have chimp sync section here it's a one column section and I already enabled uh, scroll bars on this one too so okay and the same thing as leads and campaigns we have related list which can be which can be modified to suit your needs so these are the fields I chose and I removed the new button as well so I press OK save and that's it for enterprise users if you are if you are a professional edition user you will have to set up campaign members layout as well and what you will need to add is a couple of fields that belong to Chimpsync and these are contact or lead ID email name and last name so if you go over the field you will see Chimpsync in the name so these fields need to be on the campaign member and what I forgot just like before but this time I remembered before I finished the video so need to go back to campaign page layout and add the most important thing uh, that's the button so you will need this button synchronize with MailChimp is Chimpsync button that does the magic so don't forget about this one because it won't synchronize itself so that's it thank you for watching in my next video I will show you how to use Chimpsync to get your data from Salesforce to MailChimp and then get it back thank you bye